Welcome to Ethanol Producer Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jill Nelson. Mark your calendar now for the 36th Annual International Fuel Ethanol Workshop and Expo, taking place in Minneapolis, Minnesota, June 15th through the 17th, 2020. The FEW is the world's largest ethanol event and is truly where producers meet. Visit FuelEthanolWorkshop.com to learn more. The U.S. EPA has released RIN generation data for 2019. According to the agency, 19.75 billion RINs were generated under the Renewable Fuel Standard last year, up from 19.52 billion in 2018. The data shows RIN generation for non-cellulosic ethanol was down, falling to 14.94 billion in 2019, compared to 15.07 billion in 2018. Get full details on the data in our online story. Two Iowa fuel retailers were recently recognized for their biofuel efforts. Iowa Secretary of Agriculture Mike Nag presented the 2020 Renewable Fuels Marketing Awards to Elliott Oil Company of Ottumwa, Iowa and Diamond Oil Company of Des Moines at the Fuel Iowa Annual Meeting in January. Elliott Oil Company was recognized with the 2020 Secretary's Ethanol Marketing Award. In recent years, Elliott Oil has participated in the Iowa Renewable Fuel Infrastructure Program and has increased private investments into its retail locations to accommodate the sale of high-blend ethanol products. Over the past year, Elliott Oil has promoted the growing interest and demand for E15 in Iowa to BP brand representatives. Through its efforts, Elliott Oil has reached an agreement with BT to allow the sale of E15 under the BP brand Canopy at its location in Osceola. The USDA Foreign Agricultural Service recently released November export data, reporting the U.S. exported approximately 107.28 million gallons of ethanol and 911,569 tons of distiller's grains during the month. The 107 million gallons of ethanol exported in November was down from both the 112 million gallons exported in October and the 141 million gallons exported during November 2018. Read more in our online coverage. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more of the ethanol industry's top stories.